Every day we are choosing that's not in our own best interest. A few moments later. Keep my wife's name out your mouth. She is very gorgeous to me. When Will Smith went up there and slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars, discipline went out the window. He started laughing at the joke when he heard it. <laughs> But there was something that registered in his brain that said, nope, I got to go up here and do this to protect my wife's honor. And that is when he made a decision that worked against him professionally. I just did a bad thing. I regret the thing I did. It takes a lot of discipline to be successful. Back. It takes a lot of discipline consistently in order to maintain the success that you have. Now, Will Smith may have a lot of discipline professionally, but because he may not show as much discipline in other areas of his life, it backfires on him. That's the reason why a lot of you guys, you don't realize how much your business will be affected by your love life, your spiritual life, your diet, your financial decisions, where you live, the company that you keep, all of these things play a part. And that's the reason why when I work with clients in my program, Your Breakthrough Year, I actually talk less about just making money and I talk more about all of the factors that will help you make it. Because you could have all the skills, but if you don't have all of these other factors, every time an opportunity comes, it's gonna pass you by. Maybe it might not be you that's about to slap somebody on stage. But we're all going to go through our highs and lows. There's a lot of people that get divorced every single day that affects how they work, that affects their mood. I am having a very bad day. I am in no mood. A lot of people will have problems with their kids. A lot of people will go through family drama. People will get in a car accident and have road rage. There's a billion different things that can happen that can jeopardize your career. Stop thinking, oh, this will never happen to me. I'm perfect. Instead, come to the realization that your career could be affected in one kind of a way and prepare yourself accordingly. Set up your emergency fund, set up multiple streams of income so that way you can make residual money. So that way, if you get canceled, like many people do, you still have a source to feed you and your family. Remember what Denzel said, when you're at your highest point, that's when the devil comes. Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said, at your highest moment, be careful. That's when the devil comes for you. The way that I interpret what Denzel said is not so much about Chris Rock being the devil, but rather you coming and confronting your own temptations because the devil will try you by them when you're at the peak of your success. So what I mean by that is, let's say that your temptation is lust. You could find yourself in a sex scandal at the height of your career. Look at what happened with R. Kelly. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all tell me with this R. Kelly didn't go on stage and slap nobody, but with all of the money and all of the acclaim that he had, look at how he used it. Look at what he did when he was at the top of the industry. You gotta be ashamed of yourself. All as you is. There will be so many different uh, temptations that are out here that can take you away from your success. And this leads me to my last point. There's getting success, and then there's maintaining success. And maintaining success is a hell of a lot harder than getting it. But Here's the problem. So many of us work hard to try to build success 
that we never think about the type of person that we've got to be once we have it. You know, a lot of times we come from the mud, we're trying to get it from square one, and we spend so much time focusing on, man, when I get there, I made it, that we don't realize, hey, there really is no making it because there's always a new level. And the higher that you go, the more that's going to be required of you to keep it. To whom much is given, much is required. I keep trying to give you all this game. Y'all know my story. Paid off over $95,000 in student loans two years after graduating from college by age 23. Do y'all know what I did right after I got out of debt? Got back into debt all over again. Stop it. Get some help. A few years passed by and I racked up almost the exact same amount of debt that I was in before. Damn! Before it was college and student loan debt, then it was my business. And I had to pay off all of that debt and become debt free once again. Why am I telling you this? When you strive for results in life, you're always thinking about the finish line. But this is the reason why track coaches will tell you, don't run to the finish line, run through the finish line. There's still more that you have to do. There's still far that you have to go. And a lot of us tend to think that just getting to success is where the work happens. But once you have the success, that's when the real work begins.